Argentina is set to elect a new president on Sunday, but neither candidate is likely to be able to fix the country's broken economy. Inflation in the South American country has hit its highest level in decades. According to Argentina's statistics office, annualized inflation hit 142.7% in October. That's up just over 8% from September. Well, the country has been uh, battling high inflation for years, which uh, economists blame on money printing and an entrenched lack of confidence in the local currency. Two-fifths of Argentina's population live in poverty. And there's, of course, rising anger among the voters over the state of the economy. Political outsider Javier Mier is campaigning to ditch the peso and uh, shake up the central bank, while the economy minister... Sergio Massa argues that those changes will only make matters worse. Well, let's talk to Remy Piet, uh, co-founder and senior partner at Embelli Advisory, an investing and markets consultancy. Remy, welcome. Well, uh, not so much inflation figures, really. They look more like phone numbers. Uh, what's your reaction to these inflation figures? Well, I indeed, I mean, numbers are right. I mean, we, Argentina is, is hitting an all-time high in terms of, of inflation with a three-digit number. But the numbers, when you actually look in detail for the month of October, are actually better than what expected. So 8% compared to 10%, which seems to be kind of, of, of providing a little more support during that political campaign to the existing, you know, candidate uh, and, and uh, uh, Sergio Massa, current, you know, Minister of the Economy for in front of the, you know, uh, Alcas, uh, Javier Milei, uh, that actually, you know, is, is opening in the second round. His take will be that he's actually just arrived to the job a year ago and his policies are actually, you know, in towards the right direction. But it is concerning that you know, obviously a structural issue in, in, in Argentina in terms of inflation. Uh, Sergio Massa wants to boost uh, an export-driven economy by providing more support to, uh, you know, exporters and try to get a, a, a better terms of the balance of payments uh, through trade policies. He also has, you know, strong policy, you know, support to Vaca Muerta, which is a natural gas, you know, field in, in Argentina. But his position is more, you know, let's say slower and, and following the, the book rather than the one that is provided or advocated from Javier Milei, which is much more radical uh, on, on his approach and, and, and would actually take a, a different positions towards especially the, the dollarization of the economy uh, and limiting the capacity of the monetary policy uh, tool for Argentina. And if we just park the politics for one moment and the political responses, what do you think is the best way forward when you're facing 142.7% uh, inflation? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very strong question here. Obviously, the position from the two candidates are vastly different. Uh, Javier Miller, as I was mentioning, is suggesting to cut down on, on spending, reduce drastically the, the, the government, and therefore reduce spending. So that actually would uh, be a factor of, of trust, bringing more, you know, IMF uh, into, into the table, which has a very, you know, lukewarm, if not negative, history in, 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 in Argentina. Uh, his position is, you know, probably uh, much more uh, ra radical in the sense that, you know, it's about, you know, cutting down on support from the government to, let's say, uh, workers taking the bus or, or support to the export-driven economy. Uh, uh, dollarization of the economy would actually very much reduce Argentina's capacity to export its raw material and, and, and other at, at competitive terms. And so the, the position from Sergio Millet is a little more mid-run to long-term position in terms of turning the structure of the Argentinian economy towards an energy-exporting, natural gas-exporting economy without cutting down on the spendings that are much needed for the support of the, the, the regular economy uh, for workers and for people in health and education sector. Remy, the election's on Sunday. Let's talk again then. Good to see you. Remy Piet, co-founder and senior partner Pleasure. at Embelli Advisory.